Greetings everyone, my name is LG, welcome back to Brave the Default for the Nintendo 3DS. In this episode, I would like to show you how you can level up really fast in Chapter 5. At the moment, uh, as you can see, I am level 40 or 94, 95-ish, but I started uh, leveling up and uh, well when I was around 57 and uh, with this method you can do it really easily uh, the main thing is uh, what you will need is that you will ha need to have the uh, acrobatics uh, job or you know this is the Valkyrie uh, stuff the acrobatics and um, most of, most of all, you will need this uh, Crescent Moon. Unleash a physical attack on all enemies that deals the same damage as a conventional attack. And it uh, costs 1 BP. Well, till now it doesn't seem too much, but... If uh, you equip yourself with uh, with some some weapons, what you can buy from uh, from the shops, or well, at uh, chapter five you will have uh, most likely the uh, one of the best uh, weapons what you can have. Then um, equip them. Let me show you what I equipped uh, with uh, with the guys Foxtail. And uh, my attack is two, uh, 320, oh, sorry, and um, well, just keep one person with uh, a job uh, who can heal just in, in case, and ring a bell, Grindr Axe, and the deer with the giant axe, and uh, that's uh, what I have, and uh, one thing... Uh, is this growth egg. Uh, when you level up uh, in Norande and you reach the then um, at, at the time you will receive two kind of uh, of uh, accessories, items, uh, what you can buy. One is the growth egg and the other one is the golden egg. The golden egg uh, gives you EXP and GP, but uh, less big. That's what you need uh, because the growth egg is uh, that gives up PG, but doubles EXP and GP. Well, you need this. Sorry, not the golden egg, of course, because that uh, increases your pig uh, amount. So if you have these, then uh, there's one more, one more thing in the tactics. If you go to the config and to the difficulty, then here is this encounter range, and uh, that's uh, really important. And default it's at zero, that means you have uh, encounters um, in a normal rate, but if you put it on 100%, then the encounters will come without stop, and uh, that's, uh, that's what you would like to do. Uh, one thing, currently my vampire job is zero for for everyone, so this will look uh, really impressive in, in the beginning, but uh, later on it will be uh, really nice too. So let's go and uh, let me show you where you have to go. If you go to Florum and uh, to this territory, then you will find uh, a lot of encounters, a lot of really nice encounters. And uh, if you start uh, walking around, and um, there's that cave, we will go in there uh, really soon. So here is this fight. You would say that uh, this should be a big fight, but after you brave and use the acrobatics, this uh, crescent moon, twice. Remember to use it twice, you cannot really use it more because uh, uh, let me show it to you. Physical attacks are all enemies but it requires one BP extra so this is uh, this is the maximum what uh, you can get and that's it. Brave, well it's Anya, so she is my healer so in bad situations I will just uh, use the Curada on all enemies and that's it. 
ring a bell, you will use your abilities, your crescent moon, uh, twice. And uh, that should be enough. Most of the times, uh, if you have two people doing this crescent moon, that should uh, wipe out all the enemies. But just to be safe, I usually get an idea to do the same. And uh, with this, yeah, that's it. Let's see, let's see the magic of what will happen here. So, almost 3k, almost 3k again. One of them is already dead, and there you go. Most of your enemies are down, and look at the EXP and GP. EXP uh, increased almost with 5k, and uh, the GP with 464. This is uh, thanks to the uh, accessory water we equip. And uh, look at this job level leveled up, leveled up, leveled up, and this is how you gain some job levels fairly quickly. So okay, let's uh, let's enter this this place now because uh, you can find. Uh, uh, a really nice uh, uh, enemies here. Don't step on the purple flowers. And uh, this is uh, what you are looking for. These guys are really important. Uh, what you should do now, if uh, you push the Y button, then it's the auto battle. So it will do the same thing again. And that's it. That's uh, what happened. And for this fight, you we received the same amount of. Uh, EXP and GP like before and the sweeper which uh, would give uh, more uh, peak for us but uh, no uh, since uh, this growth egg won't really allow us uh, to gather more uh, pig uh, that's that's it so let's just uh, run around and uh, let me show you how this uh, how this really works if you push the directional buttons the right side then it will speed up the battle and that's it you receive an insane amount of uh, of uh, damage and, and everything and like this um, after a time uh, you will be able to find some really neat battles where you easily can uh, gather 1k GP2 and uh, this is how you can just uh, run around and and do uh, what uh, what you really want uh, remember this only works in chapter 5 so sadly not in, in other levels as you can see I spent like uh, this video started nine minutes ago and uh, I'm already at level nine with uh, with uh, one job but uh, I haven't really uh, leveled up before there you go and after a time uh, you will get this one turn ace and one scattered ace or I don't know what and they will give you even more and uh, and more. Eh, I really would like to go uh, to to the next uh, stage because uh, that will be even more fun. Because at the next uh, place uh, you will get uh, even more of uh, of everything. Let's go really fast. Yeah. Because now only three of these guys are appearing, and uh, we already received 500 uh, GP for this. But uh, here, hopefully, uh, there will be more than that. Am I right? Yeah, there you go. Six of them. And uh, just watch the magic. There you go, and that's it for 999 GP and 
almost 30k EXP. Like this you can level up uh, in, in no time and uh, gather the amount of uh, EXP water you want in no time again. One thing uh, uh, what well what I haven't uh, shown before is the abilities for for the guys well uh, this is not uh, what is really important to equip the two-handed ability which uh, allows you to hold a sword axe spear staff katana in both hands to raise physical attacks this is really important if you see all of my uh, guys uh, have uh, have this uh, who are using the acrobatics and uh, well that's it that's how you can gain really easily a lot of uh, lot of things and uh, this is uh, the situation uh, where the uh, where the uh, acrobatics for uh, more than two people can come in handy when the other party uh, starts so the enemies start uh, the uh, the round and in this case you can just uh, cure yourself cure everyone oh and I forgot to mention that uh, this two-handed ability is uh, the uh, let me see it's the uh, knight's ability and uh, oh, I should uh, show it on on this so the knight's ability and it's uh, at uh, job level 2 so it's not even hard uh, to get it that will increase um, your your abilities to gain uh, to improve uh, your attacks uh, in, in general. The other thing uh, what is uh, is really, it can be really exciting is the golden egg. Let's see what the golden egg does. Uh, let's uh, search one more fight here. There you go, four of those appeared. And uh, <laughs> 11k pig. That's a lot, and uh, with that, after you buy this uh, uh, this accessory and uh, gather some uh, amount of, uh, of money, you can easily, easily buy the uh, the other mm, other egg. Yeah, let me do it once more. And since the auto uh, does everything for you, don't, you don't even have to do anything, just uh, go around and, uh, and have fun killing everything around you. Uh, I just uh, want to go really fast and show you where you can buy the, uh, the eggs, so, but for that I want to turn the encounter rate to zero this is uh, another another trick uh, what you can do and uh, like this uh, no one and nothing nothing uh, will attack you as uh, the uh, message said there uh, this is good if uh, if you don't want uh, to raise uh, your your levels because uh, yeah, that's important. And don't step on that purple flower. Never. It's, it's bad for your health. Or uh, just uh, equip the dungeon master's... Uh, um, dungeon mastery or something like that. Uh, I don't really know uh, how it's called. Let me show you where you can buy the uh, growth egg and the growth uh, other stuff. It's really easy. You go uh, to any of these uh, these guys, so the red guys, and uh, buy equipment. After you completed uh, all the Norandes uh, stuff, then you can just uh, come here and add the accessories. Here you go, grow a golden egg and the growth egg. 200k pig, uh, gathering 200k pig is really easy 
and uh, it shouldn't be a big, uh, big task to gather. And yeah, 500k pig is a bit, uh, a bit too much. But if you start with uh, uh, doing this uh, without these, then you can f uh, really easily gather the for the uh, money for the golden egg and for the growth egg. Uh, there is one more uh, really easy tactic uh, what you can do uh, but uh, to gather money even on the lower levels and you don't even have to be here on chapter 5 you just have to be in um, another place but that's uh, for another episode and that's it that's it for today I hope that this was um, interesting and uh, useful for you guys so i would like to thank you all for watching and please don't forget to leave your comments down below and let me know what you think let me know how you feel about what happened in this episode and if you liked it then please give it a thumbs up it really helps out a lot and if you have not subscribed to this channel yet then please do so it would be really cool to see you in the team next part of uh, bravely default will come really soon goodbye